Sure, Lincoln Heights is a show based on African American family and we move from the suburbs to the inner city. And uh, the difficulties that we have living in the inner city with gang violence, um, kidnapping, all the stuff that happens in our community, but more or less just staying in the community and not running away from it and uh, building up the community. Mm. And you're playing? I play Cassie Sutton on Lincoln Heights. And she is? <laughs> <laughs> Cassie Sutton is a sexy girl. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Cassie Sutton, she's um, actually a quiet, shy girl. A shy, shy. Quiet, oh, quiet, oh my goodness. She's a quiet, shy girl. Um, and she's kind of finding her own, but she's in love with this guy named um, Charles, who's played by Robert Adams Adamson on Lincoln Heights. And um, he's helping her find her own and find her voice. They're both artists, so they can relate in that sense. How would you say that the show is playing with the current event? We see that happening in a lot of shows mm -hmm. nowadays, but that's why talking about the financial crisis, uh, yeah. brothers and sisters talking about politics. How mm -hmm. yours is, is, is playing on, on what's happening in America today? Oh, most definitely Lincoln Heights is um, playing on what's happening in current events today. Uh, there's a lot of violence that goes on in communities that people aren't aware of how much of the violence that consists in, in neighborhoods. And uh, we display that, but we like to send a message out too in our, our, our episodes that you just don't run away from the violence, you try to help it out, you know? Whether you call your local police district and you tell them we need more police officers there, or one episode we had a block party, so we raised money for the community and put it back in the community. Or another episode, we, um, you know, the people write on buildings, they spray paint, well, Cassie took it upon herself, and she, yes, she, she got rid of all of that. She started painting murals. And so it, was just, it just shows you on Lincoln Heights how, you know, you can build up your community instead mm. of tearing it down. How does the kids take the show? Do they, what do they tell, what does it say to you about the show? Oh, the kids, what do the kids, kids say about the show? They love the show. I think they most definitely love the chat. They call it Chassie. It's Charles and Cassie, the, the <laughs> Chassie team. They love it because it's just the love they have for each other. And people want to see love nowadays with all the stuff that's happening in the world. So they tune in, they watch Lincoln Heights, and they see Charles and Cassie in love. Hmm. Have you been badly hurt by the writer strike last year? Yeah, you know what? Anytime that strikes happen, there's always it. It always affects you. It, it, it's just it's a devastating thing, and um, that's why the SAG negotiations that are still happening now. It's just you hold your breath and you say you hopefully. You just hopefully hope that they come to some kind of conclusion, some kind of meeting of the minds, because, you know, people need to work now. So we'll see what happens. We hope they make a deal. How did the show recover? I mean, it's doing pretty good now. You know what? The show, the show happened after, um, I think, after the writer's strike. It wasn't during. So our seasons have just been going consecutively. So here we are in fourth season. Hmm. You plan to stay long on the show? Yeah, I plan to stay on um, the fifth season. Yeah, fifth <laughs> season, seventh season. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, I most definitely want to see what um, is in store for Charles and Cassie. I, I want them to see that maybe move into a place together. That would be nice. That would be nice. Maybe a marriage sometime. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, last season he proposed, and that was one of our um, highest rated episodes. Is the proposal? Mm. Yeah. How would you say that it's important for young actors like you to have a, a show like Lincoln Heights and see? Uh, for your career, do you think of that? Oh my gosh, it's so important to have a television show for your career. Um, it just helps you, you know, as an actress. You get to work with so many great directors and writers and producers. I look around and I, I, I work with Ernest Dickerson who just won an um, Image Award, NAACP Image Award, and he wrote and directed uh, the movie Juice. So you're working with icons. Jesse Bochco worked with him. And it's just like, I turn around and you see so many directors you've worked with, you feel honored. And it helps you, it helps you build your work.